pigs covered in blood. Classical swine fever. Spring of 1947 in Republic of Korea. The pigs suffering from high fever and loss of appetite. After a few days, they had failed to recover and eventually died. A 24-year-old young veterinarian dispatched from Veterinary Service Laboratory conducted a post-mortem examination of the dead pigs. The tonsils inside the throat turned into reluctant texture and color. Lymph nodes were red and swollen, and there were black spots along the edge of the spleen. Oh my God. The young man's face turns pale. The following spring, the phone ringing sound fills the public service center. Starting from Seoul, Gangwon Do, Chungcheong Do, Jiala Do, Gyeongsang Do. The sad news was received from all over the country. With fast transmission and high mortality, classical swine fever paralyzed the nation's pig farming industry, and its other name is hog cholera. It was the first outbreak of CSF in Korea, and only the officially reported ones were 118,000 cases. It is estimated that half of the pig population was wiped out in that year. A decision of the Korean government to prevent recurrence. Classical swine fever is designated as a legal communicable disease. All pigs must be vaccinated against classical swine fever. Failure to comply with regulation can result in fines and the farm will be banned shipments to the slaughterhouse. A drum full of leftovers in the sweltering heat. Soon, what is inside becomes food for pigs, and the swine fever virus in the contaminated food enters the pig's body and goes through a short incubation period. When a virus enters the body, it is normal that the immune system is activated and kills the virus. But this time was different. The number of viruses kept increasing and they settled in all the places like saliva, tears, excrement, organs, etc. Then they induced abnormal immune responses for immune cells to commit mass suicide. The pig's defense system collapsed and CSF virus spreads throughout the entire body along blood vessels and lymphatic vessels extending in the body. Tonsil, lymph nodes, spleen, traces of destruction can be seen everywhere. Hemorrhage. The Netherlands in 1982, a new discovery from swine viruses research. The presence or absence of a certain gene seems to determine the virulence of the virus. An experiment to prove this theory. The virus that has removed a specific gene was injected into pigs. As expected, the toxicity of the virus has significantly decreased and the immune system effectively removed the virus. Then, wouldn't it be possible to make a vaccine with a virus that has a specific gene removed? Developed based on this idea is a marker vaccine. With the birth of marker vaccine, the world is now capable of preventing and eradicating classical swine fever.